think uh, if we if we if we're going through this fury fight, then uh, I do believe and I, I will push Anthony a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. You know, this is my first fight with him. You know, you also have to be careful with how hard you push him because you don't know the bodies, you don't know the the fighters. Some fighters react different some fighters don't some fighters don't like it that much so I, I, I didn't get a chance to to know him that good you know I would have preferred two or three fights before something as big as fight right now if I, going straight into into Fury I would prefer two or three fights you know get to learn more from me I learn more from him he learns you know I teach him things I, you know just different things and then come two three fights from now he'll have a much better performance but Anthony loves those challenges too you know that's why he went straight into the rematch with, with Usyk now they're talking about Fury and he accepted it right away because he loves those challenges you know now you know I've been talking to the management team and uh, we're all on board you know to to uh, to, to take the fight they, we accepted the, the the challenge and uh, let's hope it happens you think this is going to be a tougher fight than Usyk I mean it's like you're going you know what? Yin and Yang. it's going to be it's going to be difficult uh, maybe like you said maybe tougher but not as difficult as 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 Usyk, you know, his style left being lefty and being that 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 uh, angles, you know, that he, that he uses, you know, that makes it difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, tougher because just much bigger, stronger. But uh, Anthony has great speed, great power, so I think he'll land more on 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 Fury than he was able to on on Usyk. And those are the words of Robert Garcia as he clarifies his stance on Anthony Joshua and his desire to want more time with him. As you heard the man say, he currently trains Anthony Joshua, but he did not say that he's leaving Anthony Joshua. So that's a good sign, because if you're going to spend time with a fighter, you have to be hired in order to do your job correctly, okay, properly. And the things I want to touch on that Robert said was the fact on how he broke down fighting Alexander Usyk versus fighting Tyson Fury. And he said that Tyson Fury will be tougher, but it will be easier to hit Fury versus Alexander Usyk was more difficult because he was more elusive. And I couldn't have said it any better than Robert Garcia. I think Tyson Fury has his own and presents his own problems for Anthony Joshua. But I don't think it was it would be more so of him being elusive. You know, a lot of people, well, not even a lot of people, I've heard people say that Joshua won't be able to hit Tyson Fury. And I'm wondering who they think J Anthony Joshua really is versus who they think Tyson Fury really is. Because Tyson Fury is a guy that can be hit, people. He's hittable. Oh, yeah, he's hittable. And, you know, you've got, he's been in there with guys like Otto Violin, which is a little quicker. Uh, Deontay Wilder, which the Deontay Wilder that fought Tyson Fury in their third fight was 240. He was 238 pounds to be exact, but he was a lot heavier. So that means he was a slot, lot slower. So he really didn't land. I feel like he should have due to the weight gain, due to the muscle uh, increase, you know. And he wasn't able to be mobile enough to land like I feel he should have. But nonetheless, he did. And the whole point is, if a 240-pound Deontay Wilder was able to chin Tyson Fury, then Anthony Joshua, with I think, has better punch placement. I think he knows how to punch and where to punch. I think, you know, that was probably one of his problems with Usyk, but... If he lets his hands go, he could do a lot better with Tyson Fury. Because Tyson Fury, you just have to fight him and he will fight you. And see, I want people to understand about Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is a guy that fools a lot of people into thinking he's like this 
I'm a knockout artist, you know, I'm a Spartan, I'm this, I'm that. Tyson Fury is a prize fighter. And he fought a guy that had limited arsenal, uh, limited boxing IQ. He wasn't really receptive uh, like he should have when he fought him the last couple times. Like I feel Wilder is now. And I'm talking about Wilder. And fighting someone like Anthony Joshua will be, will be a challenge. Oh, yeah, it will be a challenge. But if he beats him, full credit to him for getting the win. But I think it will be a lot easier for AJ to land, like Robert Garcia said, versus Usyk, a guy that practices defense amongst offense, amongst elusiveness in these angles coming from the southpaw stance. You know, Joshua won't be worried about the same problems with Usyk will he, as he will about Tyson Fury. People just think Tyson Fury is just big, huge, stronger version of Alexander Usyk. And they're so far from the truth because they fight nothing alike. Okay? Usyk depend, depends on speed, conditioning, and uh, defense, and counters, and angles. Whereas Tyson Fury focuses more on his boxing ability and his speed, okay? And as far as other fighters go, White and Wilder were not the best. They were on the top five, or top 10 rather, but they weren't the best. They were the fighters that he selected and he chose to fight. Now, going back to Robert Garcia, I would like to see him and Anthony grow more of a relationship as far as professionally, as far as knowing what he knows about Anthony, because he was frankly telling us that he doesn't know enough about Anthony to know to push him hard, to know to make sure that's the right you know strategy. How far you can you push Anthony? He knows none of that shit about Anthony Joshua. You know, he applauds him, but I think his overall thing is being a trainer is teaching people to learn something and what we're really learning about joshua he just goes and he's going in for this one fight and i think this could be an overall death trap but we will see so it's up to robert to get him trained once again and to counter punch robert garcia i feel that he should push him a lot more Push him to that limit. Let's see what Anthony Joshua made of. I know he works hard in the gym. He's a gym rat. I see fucking guys all the time. Give it their all in the gym. Leave. Slump the fuck over. But at the end of the day, he has to be able to perform and he has to be able to go to that level based on how hard he trained. Okay? So as far as Robert Garcia goes, you know, I agree with him a lot about the Usyk versus Tyson Fury. And I think it will be a better fight. And I think it will be a uh, a better offensive fight for Anthony Joshua versus the Anthony Joshua versus Usyk scenario. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Robert Garcia and his initial reaction of Anthony Joshua taking on Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. Please subscribe and you guys been counterpunch. Peace.